at the time I really, you know, the, there were so many problems with the band I was in. Uh, <laughs> uh, it was pretty clear. And the thing I realized I most enjoyed was writing the lyrics to the songs. And I want, I decided I, I have to do something that, that I can do by myself. And so uh, that also sort of, you know, played into it. Well then, well, how, how does that make you feel, Michael? Well, well, uh, it, yeah, I, mean, I just thought it was funny. He got into it because I want to I want to do something by myself. Yeah, but we're talking to a duo still, right now. You know what? I hate to say it. He still does, but he can't get away. <laughs> um, uh, no, when we well, it, this may be a different question, but we cert- we did not start out writing as a writing duo. We started out writing separately and mm-hmm. and um, Mike, Mike was having more success than I. But we had both kind of gotten our foot mike certainly got his whole body in the door but i'd got my foot in the door when we started working together um which was on face off um but uh so yeah but that but that's a real true part of it which is uh i think people you you know be the great thing about being a writer is you only need yourself uh to create to create a world to create a move to potentially create a movie or a franchise Mm -hmm. or whatever it's just you against your own mind and your own bad habits yeah no i mean i at heart i'm a i i i I do independent film but my favorite part of the process by far is writing and i've written by myself and i've had writing partners um but even when you have somebody else in the room writing with you you guys kind of become a singular mind and you're in this isolated state where you can conjure a universe yeah Yeah, if it's working yeah (laughs) (laughs) i have been on the other side yeah that's a very important uh observation yes you become a third third person in a way so yeah you weren't my first writing partner you do remember that right no i do remember that mike's first writing partner if i'm correct me if i'm wrong was Catherine hardwick who went on to direct twilight and she's a very successful production designer and director is that correct? That's right. Yeah. We all met in film school. And just because it doesn't work with you, it doesn't, it's not to say anything about that person. Sometimes like creative minds don't mesh that in, in a way that's productive for, anyway, we'll get to that with you guys too, because there's some specific questions about like the yin and the yang of what makes a partnership work. What I want to ask you guys was this, and, uh, and either one of you can take this. The last time you worked together, according to IMDB tells us it was 2010 on the Cartoon Network series Unnatural History. Now, we did see and read a mention um, about a project in possible development, if you can speak to it, called Prophets of the Ghost Aunts. Is that true? And what factors dictate how and when you guys work together? Look, Prophets of the Ghost Aunts, if you have if you like uh dystopian fantasy novels, the trilogy that Clark Carlton, who by the way, we also went to film school with and did the the uh, novelization of Face Off and is a marvelous writer. Uh, we love those books and we're still hoping to get it made someday. But uh, but that has not happened so far. Right now, we are working together. Actually, when when I created Unnatural History, which was, I think, the first live action show for yeah. Cartoon Network, um, I brought Michael in because I don't like to do anything without him. And uh, uh, so he came on as a, pro- a writer producer on the show and we wrote a few episodes together and we wrote some separately. Uh, of course, I, I, you know, I wrote the pilot, but, um, but uh, now uh, the, the, uh, the wheel has turned completely because Michael's attached to, uh, can we even talk about it? Yeah, Mike? yeah sure. So Michael, yeah. Michael has co-created um, a, uh, a adaptation of Everett Hartso's uh 90 1990s um uh fantasy uh comic book series razor uh and uh that is gearing up for a september production in europe and michael's awesome. brought me on it thank god <laughs> that's awesome. awesome thank god listen why can't you be that type of friend to me when are you going to bring me on a message this all <laughs> so the answer so the answer is pretty simple you guys have have tried working with other people you prefer you you in, at least enjoy working with each other so it's just a matter of just when opportunity presents itself it sounds like yeah, yeah if, the, if it's a, yes certainly uh, uh, yes 
I, I, I've always felt uh, a lot more confident with what I was doing, knowing that Mike was there keep, keeping me from outsmarting myself uh, too often. Um, and working on his show, Unnatural History, that was a bit of an adjustment, I must say, because, you know, Mike and I had been partners up to that time, but now I was going to be his employee. And uh, that gave me, I was like, uh oh, now what's going to happen? And uh, it turned out to just be the best gig I ever had. Um, I loved the show. And Mike, while Mike was getting all these terrible phone calls about budget and things like that from the studio, I was just in the writer's room doing what I, what I loved the most, which is dealing with the scripts, dealing with the writers, breaking the stories, doing all that stuff. I didn't have to deal with any of the real headaches um, that, that. Yeah, he wouldn't even go up to Toronto. Well, we were shooting. <laughs> yeah, well, anyway, but uh, that's really, <laughs> no, I, I should have. I really should have. I, I definitely let 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 down the team on that. But um, by the way, but, um, the the prop of Sputnik One is in my extra room. Do you want it back? How did you get it? Oh yeah, gave it that's to right. Me for the that's 10th right. Anniversary. Special. Yes, I will take it back. Sure. Yeah. He doesn't want it. We have all these little props on our desk. We'll put it here for the show for everybody. Oh to see well, this one's big. This one. This. Sputnik it's a real thing. Sputnik size Sputnik. Oh yeah, no, no mind. Size is Sputnik. Michael, you're 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 actually both of you guys talking about the uh, the adaptation or, or the uh, I think the adaptation of Razors and Mike. I saw you you recently worked on the TV series Salvation. Um, Michael, you were the showrunner on the series Professionals. Is there, uh, and feel free to talk about those projects. Um, we're at the plug portion of the interview now. If there's anything that you guys have coming out or anything you want to let the audience know about, um, please do let us know. Well, Mike, you want to talk about Razor or you want to close on that? Um, well, well, uh, Professionals was a show I made with the same producer that's working on Razor with, with now with Mike and I, Mike, he, um, Jeff Most, who produced the original Crow and the Specialist nice. and a ton of other stuff, the Irene uh, Sendler movie, that, um, which was a great film. Um, anyway, uh, so, but we made, he and I worked, Mike was not involved in this, but we made, we shot a show called Professionals in South Africa with Tom Welling and Brenda, Brendan Fraser. Um, which we sold to the CW. It is set up at the CW. There's no air date yet. Um, and that, unfortunately, that kind of got, got screwed up in COVID. Um, we, we just finished shooting when COVID hit and it dragged it all out and mm -hmm. it made it a lot difficult to complete. But, you know, we're looking forward to it when it turns up on CW. Um, and then Razor. Yeah, Razor is supposed to go into production in September. You know, they're trying to get the all the pieces kind of together at the same time. Uh, looking but good. It's looking very good. Yeah. Jeff is a Jeff. Jeff most is a machine. And um, he, he said, if he says it's going to happen, I believe mm -hmm. after professionals, uh, which mm -hmm. is the first independently produced TV series of all, you know, of all time, he put the financing together for that. You know, he said yeah. it was going to happen and it did. So I always believe him now. Um, I feel like Brendan Fraser needs a comeback too. I'd be really awesome if that comes out. Oh, he's, he yeah. does, yeah. He, he he has a little bit of a comeback. He's definitely in some stuff. He's going to be in the new Scorsese movie, uh, the Western. Um, he's mm -hmm. on Doom Patrol, I think. Oh yeah. Um, and he's I, I I I can't. I wish I could take credit for for it all, but he's really wonderful and professionals. He plays. A billionaire, like a tech billionaire, who is just this wonderful—you know—he's Brendan Fraser basically, but as a tech billionaire, he's just the most lovable kind of guy and brilliant, and and all these things. And he's quite totally out of his fish out of water kind of story, but he is—he's very good in it. So yeah, I, we, everyone wants to see more Brendan Fraser. Of course, that's I awesome. I still watch the Mummy. Any chance I get? Uh, yeah, 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 and be dazzled. That's a oh, guilty oh, yeah. pleasure for me. Well, I mean, I, I, I right. can place like fifteen different characters in one movie. Okay, guys, it's bittersweet, but we've come to the end of the interview. But we do two pre-recorded. Oh, no, no, no. We got, we got what, 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 what Mike's got coming out. Oh, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, Mike. I'm sorry. Oh my goodness, Mike. Yes. Uh, what do you have coming out that you can speak on? I apologize. No, you're, you're working on uh, Razor with uh, with Michael. Yeah, I'm working right? on Razor with Michael. You know, I think you mentioned I, I worked on for two seasons on the CBS summer series Salvation, which is the uh, serious version of Don't Look Up. And, uh, nice. um, and then I, before that, um, I was um, a writer, consulting producer on season two of the Halle Berry series Extant, 
which I'm is a, a sci-fi series. And boy, I have to tell you, she's got to be one of the nicest people I've ever met. I mean, okay. lit- actually, of all the uh, of all the actors of that level that I've met, she is uh, without question the favorite. S- just such a decent, big-hearted, funny, witty uh, person who, when you know, when you're with her, it takes it's not all about her. Does not take up any more air in the room than anyone else. Anyway, that was a great experience, and so. You know, like Michael and the and professionals, uh, the thing he was just talking about and Razor that we've been talking about. So I've also sort of, and, you know, Unnatural History a while ago, I'm totally bitten by the TV bug now. Uh, it's awesome. I love watching so many of these shows now, um, like The Great or, uh, or The Expanse, which is phenomenal. Season six just wrapped. Um, mm. And so, you know, Speaking of all these uh, sci-fi fantasy things, uh, uh, so naturally I'm writing uh, a, a spec uh, TV pilot right now. Uh, set it's a illegal legal crimeity set in New York in the late 19th century. Nice, <laughs> intriguing. And it's a true story. It's a true story. Yeah, of which I'll that say one. no more. Yeah. <laughs> So, do you, do, uh, sorry, this has come to my mind. Going back to your advice that you have for writers, and you're talking about, you know, you're 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 working on a show. You just finished one. You're writing another idea. Do you write every day? Oh yeah, yeah. Michael has a, to, yeah, <laughs> because his duties on Razor are much more expansive than mine. But yeah, I'm I'm writing every day. I I really want to get this uh, this pilot finished before uh, this gentleman here. Uh, in the black shirt, uh, you, be- or you blue better finish it letter. tonight because uh, tells me <laughs> that uh, I have to suddenly move to Athens, Greece, where it looks yeah. like those are going to be shot. Oh well, I think it sounds like he might owe him one though because he didn't Go show up to, to this. He did, yeah, he didn't. Well, what are you doing? Yeah, so yeah, true. Yeah. Uh, he's like, why did you bring that up? He's it, cursing. It's all about that. Uh, <laughs> Well, uh, guys, again, so I want to say this is it literally is bittersweet to me because, again, I didn't know I'm happy. I really, really thoroughly enjoyed this conversation talking film. You guys are film buffs. You even and you're writers. But at the same time, again, you're still lovers of film. And that's why we want to have you guys on. And I promise you guys, this is the last question. Do you have any parting words for the audience? We would like both of you to take at least 60 seconds each and give the audience parting words. It's going to be about whatever life politics what does not matter just some parting words and you could take as many seconds as you want to it doesn't like have to be seconds. a minimum you said at least well, no, that was 60 a, seconds well, they like might want to speak they okay. might want to speak go ahead i don't i'm sort of talked <laughs> <laughs> oh okay see there we, we did our job man we did well, this is this has been great so this is a fantastic really fantastic and um Thank you so much for having us on yeah we we uh, don't often get a chance to talk about uh uh, face off or our careers or just movies in general. And you guys asked a lot of great questions, questions we hadn't been asked before. So that was, that was yeah. special. Really nice. Oh, I also oh, love speed you. racer. Oh yeah. Speed the racer. Oh. The Wachowski uh, speed racer. Yeah. Oh yeah. Oh, so <laughs> yeah, underrated. Exactly. The, the most underrated Wachowski film. I have color. to, I have to make them mad before we go. Did either one of you see the film pixels, pixels? No. Oh no, off. I haven't. Good. Damn Keep it. it that way. Keep it that way. You're, that's All right, it was a conversation for another. Uh, day. Thank why you are you in it? Much for, oh no, no, I'm not in it. But he never wants to see it. But I love it. And so we, we're trying to break the tie here. We need one of our guests to actually see the film. So we got to. Mm-hmm. Adam Sandler pixels. Kevin James. Oh yeah, I know. Yeah, I haven't seen. It. <laughs> he's in your camp. I can tell you right now, he's in your camp, guys. Thank you so much for taking the time out. If you ever need anything from us, please know that we will be here to return the favor. If you got something coming out, you want to do a promo on it, oh, we'll thanks. we'll do a breakdown of it for you guys. We wish you nothing but success and and best uh best best of luck with the uh, Razor production. Correct. And, uh, oh, thank you. And, yeah, and back with, at you uh, guys. Best of luck there. And by the way, if you guys ever want to just get on and talk about movies or do. Yes. You know, yeah. I yes. Mean, that's always a fun topic and happy to, I mean, schedule permitting. I'm sure. Yeah. Let's, let's do that. Awesome. Uh, yeah. yeah. Thanks for getting back to me, Michael. And thanks for coordinating this with, with Mike getting this, you sure. know, helping get this set up. Really appreciate your guys' time. Thank you so much. Thank Seriously. Thank you so much. Keep right. Keep writing and we'll keep watching. Okay. That sounds good. All right. Thanks. All right. Thanks. We'll try to do the same. All right. Thank you. Thank you.